I got this plasma cutter right here. Let's put it to the test. So we're going to put it through its paces. We're going to cut some thin stuff, cut some thick stuff, you know, check out its features, see what it comes with. Let's get into it. Satisfying peel. Just like that. All right, here it is. Best dark. BTC 500 XP. So here's the back right here. We have the on and off switch. Then we have some controls right here for the CNC stuff. And then there's where we put the air from the air compressor. Here's the torch right here. We'll take a closer look at all this stuff in a minute, but I do really like this torch. It's got that standoff on there. Oh man, that looks good. Looks heavy duty. Yeah, we're gonna put this thing to the test. Got my air hooked in the back. Got it plugged up. Just the air right here. We'll be ready to cut. All right, let's try 110 volts. All right, so on 110, you got this pigtail right here. You go from 220 to 110, this adapter so we can plug it in, standard outlet. All right, so here's the settings on 110 volts. Tell you right there, 110, we got 15 amps up to 35 amps. Then we got our PSI right here. All right, 16th inch, 16 gauge, let's see how it cuts. Cut that 16 gauge, no problem. All right, let's try some eighth inch 11 gauge. Air compressor kicked on. All right, there we go. We got a pretty clean cut, pretty clean kerf. Not much dross on there. 25 amps on the machine. We got 24.71 amps on the meter. So it's putting out good current. That's good, you know. It's putting out what it says on the machine. So I was cutting at about 25 amps. Um, you don't want to turn these machines up too high on 110 or else they will trip the breaker. It doesn't trip the breaker on 25 amps, but you know, if you get a big cut and you're on 35, you know, you can trip the breaker with these on 110. All right, we got some quarter inch right here. Let's see how it does. I got it set to about 30 amps so it doesn't trip the breaker. go all right let's see how the cuts looking oh yeah that's a nice clean cut look at that 30 on the machine 27.66 on the meter all right so it's running real well on 110 volts some of these plasma cutters you got to keep in mind it'll trip the breaker if you turn it up too high or you really start cutting some thick metal so you know you got to play with it on some machines depending on your wiring setup in your shop you know um you know 25 amps, 30 amps, you know, you can cut some pretty good metal. When you start cranking these kinds of machines up too high, it can trip the breaker, so keep that in mind. I didn't have any problems with this as long as I kept the amperage low, but it can be a problem depending on your wiring setup. 110 volts, I got a 20 amp breaker, all 12 gauge wiring in the shop. That way we get good current, good voltage. All right, let's try 220 volts. All right, there you go, 220, got it plugged up, 50 amp breaker. All right, so on 220, it'll tell you right here, we got 15 amps all the way up to 50 amps. Now we gotta adjust the pressure a little bit. Now that we got more amperage, we gotta adjust the pressure. It's got this cool chart up here. You can look at it real quick. It'll tell you how thick you're cutting versus the amps and how much airflow you need. All right, so to adjust the airflow, what I do is I press air right here and then it'll make air come out of the tip. You can hear it behind me. Come down here to the regulator and we can turn it and watch the pressure go up so we can test it before using the torch, press it in, turn it off, just like that. You'll see it'll read higher here, but when we pull the trigger of the torch up here, the airflow will be what we want down here. See, 50 PSI. All right, 16 gauge, let's see how it does.
Oh yeah, that's a nice clean cut. 35 amps on the machine. We got about 30 amps, 31 amps on the meter. Eighth inch, let's see how it cuts. There we go right there, the cut is looking good. Thirty five amps on the machine, thirty seven point one three on the meter. All right, let's try this quarter inch again. This time 220. Oh yeah, got right through it. That power helped. The 220 definitely helped. We got through it much faster. All right, there's a cut right there, looking good. 50 on the machine, 40 on the meter. All right, we got some three quarter inch right here. This stuff is thick. Three quarter inch right there. Let's see if we can cut through it. Oh yeah, I cut right through that three quarter inch. I'm gonna get it cleaned up. We'll see what it's looking like. Man, that is a clean cut. That is a nice cut. You can see I had to take my time, but I mean, it cut right through it. It didn't hesitate at all. I'm impressed. Fifty on the machine, forty on the meter. So it did real well on two twenty. I didn't think it cut that thick three quarter inch steel, but it did. That always surprises me. You know, this one got a nice clean cut. Got to slow it down a little bit. Make sure you blow all that metal out of there. But it cut it, no problem. So it's got this mesh feature right here. Let's see what that does. I got some mesh right here. Let's see if it cuts it better. Okay, so it pulses it. Okay, yep. So it pulses it on and off. That, that, that pulses it so that you can get the mesh cut. And um, you know, you gotta make sure to get a straight line going so you can get in between those brakes right there. But yeah, it pulses it on and off, that, 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 that cuts it. That's really cool. So it also comes with these wires right here for a CNC setup. You can see right here on the back, it's got these connectors right here for a CNC machine. I don't have that set up, but it's nice. It comes with these wires. You know, you can set it up um, so the CNC machine can turn the plasma cutter on and off while you're doing your cutting. Really cool. So my favorite feature is the torch. It's robust. It's well built. It's heavy duty. And the consumables are easy to replace. We can get in there, swap them out once we use them up. But they didn't wear out while I was testing it this whole time. You know, they're going to last a while. So it has this swivel right here. So when you're holding it, you can articulate your wrist like this and get good cuts. But I really like the tip on this torch. The consumables are really robust, so it has that standoff right there so that we can stand it off on the metal that we're cutting like that. And you can see it gets us the perfect gap every time so we can just drag it and we don't have to worry about trying to hold it off the workpiece while we're cutting. So it's really nice torch, really heavy duty torch on this plasma cutter. 
All right, so this plasma cutter did well. You know, 110, 220, no problems. Dual voltage machine, just plug it up and you're good to go. So I really like that we could just pop the air fitting on there. We didn't have to fool with much, plug it in and I was cutting. You know, the screen is really easy to read. You just plug it up and you can just turn that air regulator and it'll tell you if it's got enough pressure to cut what you need to cut depending on the settings, really cool. Didn't have to fuss with the settings much, just plug it up and we got to cutting. And then the leads are plenty long to do what we need to do. Ground lead, the torch lead is cool. It's got this like flat cable, which is really cool. It's plenty long, you know, to reach our work piece, you know, all the way down to the plasma cutter. That's it for the video. Plasma cutter did great. So I'm gonna be testing more plasma cutters and welders in the future. Make sure y'all drop me a huge thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe to check out those future plasma cutter tests later.